comments I get on my Twitter that say, well, you know, I tried to make money and I lost, so I'm never going to do that again. Well, that's a loser. You know, how many times have I failed? You guys have seen me, you know, like you guys have been around me for years. I get screwed and blued and tattooed just like everybody else. But each crash makes me stronger, anti-fragile. Yeah. And that's where it starts. And everybody has that in them. Even if they didn't go to a great school, we all have a spirit, we all have a soul, we all have dreams, we all have desires. But it takes time. It's like Tiger Woods didn't become the greatest golfer on earth taking one golf lesson. You know what I mean? He's gone down, he's gone up. He's the greatest athlete I know. But you know, he took his back out, his wife divorced him, and his wife took a eight iron to his SUV. He's publicly humiliated. He can't play golf, but he still comes back and wins the Masters again. That's what I'm talking about. We all have that in us, except if we have a bad attitude in our mind. So some of those comments I've seen on my Twitter site is, well, you know, I'm not interested in money. You're a host. Those few words, I'm not interested in money, or I don't want to be rich, screws you for the rest of your life. If they took rich dad away and all my money away, I wouldn't change a thing. I still be doing the same thing. You know, a lot of people, if they lose their job, they change jobs. But this is my job. You know, this is my mission. That's why I went to military school versus university. And I went to the Marine Corps versus the Peace Corps. You know what I mean? That's just a different being. So everybody has that spirit inside of them, especially when times are good. You don't have to call on your spirit. You just cruise. You get a job, you can make some money. But right now, when you're sitting at home, is a good time to reevaluate life. But what keeps me going is this, and it's spiritual. Yeah. is how can I serve others? How can I serve the planet? How can I fix this problem? It's not just millennials, it's just human beings in general. Yeah. If you can get back to being one, being compassionate, yeah. you'll always have idiots here. You'll always have idiots here and idiots here. But just stay in your spirit. So like when I saw that guy, he's probably 45 years old. I couldn't imagine being a father saying, I need money for my kids. You know, I gave him a few bucks, but it doesn't help. When I gave him a few bucks, I was just saying, hey, we're one. Yeah. I feel your pain. And so what's happening, I think, it's not just millennials, it's human, human yeah. beings are idiots, you know. Yeah. We inflict a lot of pain, but this is spiritual intelligence, is how do we make it one? Mm -hmm. you know, like my love are trees. When I see people cutting down trees, I want to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill them. And then the oceans, you know, it just breaks my heart because yeah. I grew up in the oceans. So when we're in our spiritual, in our heart, in our silence of the brain, of the mind, then we're most effective. I read a book a while ago, it was called Mindset or something? Yeah, it's a book called Mindset. It was written by a, an author, Carol Dweck. And what she talked about is basically there's two primary mindsets and we tend to have one primary of the two. One is the fixed mindset. So a person with a fixed mindset basically says, I was born with this much intelligence, I'm gonna stay with this much intelligence, I know as much as I know, and that's it, but I'm smart. And the fixed mindset has a hard time learning. They have a hard time growing because they already think they know all the answers. There's something else a fixed mindset does. They want to make sure that you don't grow because they want to make sure that you don't get past them. Right. They have to always pretend to be smarter, better, richer, you know, more in control of their life than you. But the fixed mindset actually screws themselves because they cannot grow. Right, and you'll recognize a fixed mindset. So let's say you're having a conversation. I'm, I'm talking to somebody. I said, oh, I just read this new book. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know all about that. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm studying this new um, marketing concept. Oh, I, I've, I've already done that. Well, how about the guy we talked to yesterday? Yeah, he said, I like your advice, but I think I already know the answers. I'm like, why are you asking? So the fixed mindset, really, they don't take on new challenges, but the other mindset is called the growth mindset, and that's what we're all about, and that's what you need to be an entrepreneur. So a growth mindset, they always think they can get better. They always think they can grow. They love new challenges. They love new uh, ideas. ideas and problem Concepts. solving. And I'll give you one quick example. There was a study that was done and it was with kids and these kids were given a puzzle. And so the puzzle, you had you know, so much time to do the puzzle. So they did the puzzle. Then they had a second option. You can either do the same puzzle again or you can do a new harder puzzle. Well, immediately you saw the difference between the fixed mindset and the growth mindset because the fixed mindset goes, oh, I want to be right, I want to get the right answer, so I'm going to do the same puzzle again. The growth mindset goes, why in the world would you do the same puzzle again? Give me the harder one, I want to learn, I want to grow. So that's a very quick example of the difference. And as an entrepreneur, you really have got to have that growth mindset. Again, real financial education or real financial literacy starts with a financial statement. Yeah. 
Okay, so when I say, well, what am I looking for? Again, you wanna get your brain into the asset column or into the investor quadrant. So there's four types of assets out there. Number one is a business. The richest guys and women on earth own businesses or they inherit businesses. Number two is real estate. I love real estate. I just love it. Number three, the worst, is paper. In your generation, my generation, they all have stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETF, and savings. The worst. And number four are commodities. Those are the four basic asset classes. When I'm cruising around, you know, sitting at the airport doing something, I go to YouTube. And if I want to learn about businesses, I go to YouTube on business. I go to YouTube on real estate. I listen to those guys on paper. I just can't do what they do because stocks, bonds, mutual funds, I mean, you should do it, not me, okay? I don't like it. They're so overvalued today. They don't make sense. How can you have stocks with no earnings trading at $25 billion each? That's fake. Yeah. But oh boy, people are buying. <laughs> You gotta be crazy. It doesn't make any sense anymore. The stock market makes no sense to me. So I don't care for paper, but if you do, invest in it, but study it. And then there's commodities. And as the last thing I was showing you, silver is the most underpriced quasi asset going today. So I go to YouTube, I wanna find out stuff on business. I tune that in. Everybody has something valuable to say, even though they're full of it. I don't want people to agree with everything I think about. I want them to disagree because in the disagreement, you learn. So you got business, real estate, paper, and commodities. So I go there, I look, and I learn. This is the big difference here. E's and S's focus here. Mm -hmm. The rich focus here. And you see, that's why I don't want a job or anything like that. These guys want job, they have salary interest. Their big problem is they pay the most taxes. E's and S's pay the most taxes. The B's and I's focus here. We don't pay taxes, legally. And that makes a lot of people angry, especially the millennials. <laughs> you know, they want to tax the rich. Yeah. Well, you can't tax the rich because they don't have an income. You see, if you have a job and you have income, you're taxed. If you're a small business person, a small entrepreneur with a pizza shop or something, you pay the highest taxes. But because the rich, my rich dad taught me to focus here, my poor dad taught me to focus here. And that's what they're not teaching in school. Because to understand this, they would have to teach you this here. And most school teachers are here and here. They know nothing about this and this. Most of the young people your age today, you know, a lot of them want to become entrepreneurs. The problem with this, you have to understand tax. This is all over the world, very little difference. These guys pay 40% of their money in taxes. So they make $1,000, they're gonna spend $400 in taxes. These guys that make $1,000, they're gonna pay 60% in tax. So our schools are teaching entrepreneurship, but they're not teaching them tax because they're focusing on income. Over here, it's 20% in tax. So they make $1,000, only $200 goes to tax, and these guys, 0%. The reason financial education isn't working in our school systems is they're teaching financial education for these people and these people, but to really become rich, you have to focus on this side here. Did you enjoy the video? Please let us know by smashing the like button and commenting what part of this video you find helpful. While you're still here, you can also check out these videos of Robert Kiyosaki. Thanks for watching and remember to keep this investing tips a secret.